What is going on, everyone? This is Nier again. And today, for you, an episode of Mob Monday, this time on the map Resistance, this time in Ground War Domination, using the L86 LSW light machine gun. Now, this has slowly become one of my favorite guns in the game. I know I say this about a lot of guns because, you know, a lot of the guns actually entice me in this game. I get, you know, I get a kick out of using a variety of different weapons. But this one, <laughs> it hits something different. I mean, I'm not a big LMG fan, which. I guess I was in Call of Duty and I was in World of War and Modern Warfare 2, but not so much in Black Ops and not so much here in Modern Warfare 3. No, no, no. Just not using light machine guns as much as I used to. And then I, you know, I've mastered every submachine gun except for the PM9. I have mastered just about every assault rifle. And I'm like, let's try something different. I mean, come on, we get get bored here. Gotta do something different. Gotta keep it fresh. Gotta mix it up a little bit, especially when you play a game as much as I do, right? So I decided I'm gonna try out this gun. And I did have one game previous to this where I actually used the L86, and you're gonna see later on here in the gameplay where I get the challenge for 25 kills with the L86. So that basically proves my point that I've never really used this gun before. I mean, I'm using a red dot on it with no proficiency. You know, that's it. And marks me, guess what? 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 Look at the you're looking on your screen right now. You can see Marksman got a Moab this game as well. So this is two Moabs in one game. Pretty nice, pretty good. But I'm trying to pick up this guy, and I think I don't. I think I get the assistant. Yes, I do. But I am going to continue my dominance and continue running around the map. But you know, back to the LMGs, man. I just didn't use them. Like I really didn't. So I decided to try. I'm gonna try it out here. And you know, obviously, you know. For when I made my class, I have nothing but red dot with no proficiency. But now that I have my specialist bonus, I now have every proficiency. So right now I'm using range, I'm using kick, I'm using stability, I'm using impact, I'm using everything on it, which just makes this gun ridiculously good. But honestly, in all honesty, guys, you don't need specialist bonus for this gun to be good. For most of the time, uh, my preferred setup on this gun is uh, red dot sight and speed. The speed proficiency, just so I can move a little bit quicker. But there's also uh, the in but until you unlock speed, I suggest you use the impact proficiency. It just makes this gun. <sighs> it's good. How good is this gun? You may ask. How good is the LSW near? I'm still not sure. You haven't sold me on whether or not I should use this gun. Well, how about this? In one, well, one and a half days. I mean, uh, the day I've got this gameplay, and a little bit of the next day. I between that time, I got this gun to gold, and I've never used it before. I mean, this gun is that damn good, guys. And gold, if you've experienced getting a golden weapon, it's rough. I mean, especially with not with not having double weapon XP, it takes forever between level 30 and 31. It's ridiculous. 89,000 some weapon XP, it's ridiculous. It takes almost 1,000 kills with the gun. And then that day and a half, I did get the 1,000 kills. So, you know, it's a good damn gun. I suggest you guys try it. I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to try and candy coat this. I fast forward that part of the gameplay because I kept missing and I didn't get a kill. And it was boring. So I fast forward a little bit. I don't usually fast forward gameplay. I adjust my damn headset again because this thing keeps slipping off. I don't usually, you know, fast forward my gameplay, but I did for right there. So now you may be wondering, it's time for this. You're like, at this juncture, you're going to be like, hey Nero, get tips do you have for me to get a Moab on resistance? You haven't told me any tips yet. Hmm. Well, I'm going to give you some tips. I'm going to give you some tips and tricks and some ideas and some thoughts and some opinions as to how you should do well on resistance, especially in domination. Now, if you're looking at the score right now, we're pretty much rampaging through the other team. We have almost doubled our score right now. You're also going to notice that we have all three flags. Now, when you have all three flags in domination, that's kind of rough. That's a pretty awkward situation for yourself to be in. You're sitting there, you're like, well, where in the hell are they going to come from? Because honestly, quite literally, they can spawn anywhere. Anywhere they want. It's ridiculous. You have no idea where they're going to come up from next. So I've given this tip in many videos. Dead man's nuke, look at that big man. I've given this tip in many videos, I've given it in many commentaries, but if you're new around here, or if you didn't hear it in any of my other videos, use your teammates. Your teammates are basically a source of unlimited UAV. Now right now, obviously, we have a regular UAV up. That's helping out just a little bit. But when we don't have UAV up, and you're wondering, you know, what move to make next, where the hell do I go now, look at your teammates. Where your teammates are, that's where the enemy isn't. It's pretty much that simple. I, you know, we have the UAV to tell me they're up here, but I would know they were up here just by looking at the minimap. They could be between A and C, but just completely judging by the minimap of where people are at. Now the UAV is going to tell us they're behind us, and you know, you definitely got to look out for that because sometimes when your teammates are even there, sometimes they'll spawn them right on your teammates, and it's kind of ridiculous in that sense. But you know, to play on resistance and to do well on resistance, especially for domination, which domination, search and destroy, are basically the only two game modes I play. Uh, you definitely want to keep yourself somewhere towards the middle area, or we call it the courtyard, because it basically looks like a courtyard, and right here, I'm not going to lie to you guys, the gameplay heats up, we're going to get one kill, we're going to get two, no, no, there we go, two kills, and there's three kills, and oh, oh, look over here, there's four kills, oh, good lord Jesus, here's five kills, now here's one more, there's six kills, 
And there's seven kills. Now I'm going to reload real quick. And the car bomb's going to blow up for the eighth kill in the Moab. Now you may be wondering, Nero, why'd you go there? Why'd you just do what you did? I looked at the score. I realized we're rapidly approaching the end of this game. And I was on somewhat of a Moab streak. So I just ran out. I ran towards the C flag because that's the flag that they captured. And I just so happened to outshoot every person. Well, I guess the person that got blown by the car kind of just got unlucky. But, you know, it works out for me in the end, right? But we're going to be picking up our kills here with the Moab. A final team score for us of 200 to 100, which is doubling their score, which means we basically ransacked the other team. It wasn't even fair. But what you're looking at right now is a game-winning kill cam of a Moab. And if you're wondering what a game-winning kill the Moab, there you go. It's basically you walking around smoke. Or whoever got the Moab running around smoke. But final score of 34 and 2 for me. Uh, Marksman, who also got Moab this game earlier in the gameplay, you guys may remember. Uh, final score of 51 and 9 for him. So, pretty good game all around. I am playing with subscribers in this gameplay. I do have a full party in Ground War, which is just beast mode. It's easy mode. It's fun. And this was actually part of the uh, Day of a Million Moabs, which I guess it's not even a million, but we got 10 Moabs and I actually made a montage of it. But there's going to be a link in the description to that montage as well if you, in case you missed it. I posted it a couple days ago. Basically, we all got tons of Moabs in one day and I decided to post them. So, hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. Hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. Hope you guys enjoyed the tips and or tricks that I gave you. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.